Okay guys, today we're gonna do a 1C discharge rate on this battery, which means 1C means 100% of the available amps, which means we're gonna be pulling 100 amps off of this battery continuously. We can see on our app here, uh, we currently have a voltage of 13.3, which matches roughly up here with our hall meter. And uh, going into the setup piece of this, we've got the battery connected to an inverter. And the inverter is plugged into a space heater that pulls about 90 amps and a heat gun that can pull the remaining 10 amps that we're going to need to get to 100. We have our app here set up uh, connected via Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is turned on in the battery. And uh, yeah, that's the setup. So real quick, I wanted to do a demonstration on and show you guys the, uh, if you go into parameter view, there are tons of options that you can change in here. And these are, these are all going to be listed on our website but uh, like over voltage you can do under voltage and basically turn the battery off based on these kind of these these settings so pack so there, there's just tons of options in there what we're going to do here though is we're going to go to discharge over current so the factory setting on this one is minus 110 which means you can't pull more than 110 amps continuously for greater than 10 seconds and once you, that 10 seconds is reached then it's going to be delayed, disabled. The battery is going to shut off for 32 seconds. So we took the factory setting and changed it from minus 110 to minus 40. Just for this example, we're going to change it back here in a minute. But just wanted to show that we turn on this and we turn on the heater and that's going to pull. You can see it's pulling 70 amps right now. So in less than 10 seconds, we should see all of this turn off. And there it goes. So it just I just over amped it. everything just went off everything's dead for the next 32 seconds so that's how the the discharge overcurrent works on here and all of these are editable so we're gonna go ahead and put it back to 110 while we're waiting on the battery to turn itself back on go 110 confirm and that's it you see at the bottom setup success uh, actually we need to make that 110 i'm sorry yeah so once the battery comes back on we'll go ahead and get going with the 1c test there we go, back to factory. Okay, the battery just came back on. We're going to go ahead and go back to our dashboard and our app. And we're going to start pulling 100 amps. So we have to crank that up to number two setting. It's going to go over 100. You can see it's actually over right now. But that's going to settle back out, hopefully. Well, it didn't, so I had to drop it so it doesn't shut itself off. I'll give it a second. This heater settles out around 90 once it's all heated up and warm. So let's see if we can get it there. So it's bouncing around. Okay, it's settling out now. That'll be good. You can see on the temperature, we got 30.8 degrees Celsius, which is just hovering, uh, I think, a hair above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's see, we got 90 amps on there. We're showing about the same on here, 87. So we'll go ahead and start the heater. That's pulling it to about 100 right there, 100 amps. And we're showing 103 over here, so a little bit higher on the app than on the hall meter. So we're going to go off the app because that's what the Bluetooth module's based off of. We're going to go ahead and dial it down. One more. That's going to be pretty good right there. All right, so it's bouncing between 93 and 102. I think that's about as good as we're going to get it until the temperatures settle out. But there it is. Heat gun's running. That's cranked up. And we're pulling 98. We'll watch the temperature. We'll come back in about, oh, I don't know, 10 or, 10 or 15 minutes. You can see on this meter, our timer at the bottom here is at one minute. And yeah, you can see how many watts we're pulling here. We've already pulled 113 watts, so here it goes. I'm All right, guys, go. something else I wanted to show while this is heating up is you can go from the dashboard, you can just pull the drop down and you can go over to battery state and then slide over one, and what you can get is a per cell voltage reading. So that's the that's the pretty coolness of having the built-in BMS is uh, you can, yeah, you can see all this stuff at your fingertips. So you can see exactly what's happening even during, even during a 1C discharge rate, which on the... All right, guys, I just shut everything down. We crossed 320 watts here, roughly, on the discharge on this in about, oh, what is that, uh, 13 minutes. 
So that is, that is a little over a quarter of the battery capacity pulled at a full 1C rate. And you can see on here the temperature is 51 degrees. That's the BMS. If you want to see what the actual cells are, you can go into battery state. And at the bottom, you can see the, the temp one is the probe. That's what's sitting on the cells inside. And then the second one is the BMS. So the BMS got up to about 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 51 degrees Celsius. So there you go. That is a quality battery available from rebelbatteries.com. Also available on Amazon. If you want to check out our website, you can get more information about all the settings that are available in the BMS. Uh, on social media, we got some more videos going. We did a low C discharge on this already. Uh, we, we proved that it can pull the max 1280 at a 0.2 C discharge. And the next video we're going to do is we're going to be cutting the top off of this thing and seeing what's inside showing you guys what the insides look like with the wiring the cells the bms all that kind of stuff so uh, definitely subscribe on facebook or i'm sorry like follow on facebook uh, we're also on youtube so you can check us out there but uh yeah that's about it guys thanks for watching